ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, on my right hand side, hailing from Glasgow, Scotland, he is the Scottish Superman, Iron Drew Marshall. I'm still thinking to my guys, I still think Iron Drew's got enough on him. Well, we don't know. Does Gangrel know the uh, our style, the British style? Well, no, he is a legend in this business. Well done, Iron Drew. Well done, Drew. Just taking a breather, just coming up with a game plan. Run? No, no, that's not a game plan. We, we, spoke, we spoke earlier. He's got, he's got his game plan all lined up here. Just toying with Gangrel. Scouting, playing all the old, the old video games with him on it. Trying to get all his moves. Yeah. I mean, this ain't a video game. You can't exactly just hit the reset button when you mess no, up. No, no, you can't. Yeah, lock up there. And look at that. The Scottish Superman. Oh, hang on a minute. There you go. There you go, Drew. Up, oh, up. Oh, there you go. There you go, Drew on top. It looks like Drew's got the advantage here. Well, for a split uh, second. No, that was Drew that broke that, just to get, you know, doesn't want to doesn't want to embarrass Gangrel uh, here. It's going to take, all it's going to take is that Glasgow kiss. Exactly. Don't know who, don't matter who you are, but you're going down. And look at that, there you go. That's it, Drew. No, oh, you're going on, uh, you know, back to early with Tim Strange getting a big win over Kit. If Drew Marshall could end up, uh, well, I'll say end up when he beats this legend in this business, surely that puts him up. Oh, that's a hell of a thing to put on your CV. That is, that is. And that should, you know, that should put him in line for a, for a tile match. It was Gangrel just doing chops to the tune of We Will Rock You there. Yes. Actually, surely that's got to be illegal. There you go, Drew. Drew had that scattered. There you go. There you go, Drew. There you go. That was... Uh, Nice little headbutt there by Drew. Maybe a preview of the Glasgow kiss. Not fully there, but you can hear it from all the you way can. from Scotland. You can. Oh, reversal by Gangrel. Picks him up. Slams nice him down. Slam. Oh, come on, Drew. Kick out, Drew. Kick out, kick out. Well done. Two
Oh, they're going no, for that impaler. There you, go, there you go. Drew Marshall, he had that covered all day long. Yeah, we got that well scouted. What was it? Hold L2 and R2 together to stop the finisher. I think so, yeah. I, mean, I didn't really play many video games when I was younger. That's all I can. There's times I was brood on the No Mercy on the N64. But look at this. Drew's not scared at all right here. There you go, Drew. Oh. Oh. Come on, ref, get control where we are. What's he doing? Oh. Come on, ref, do something about this, will you? Just wait oh, the back no, there. The back rake. Oh, what's the ref there? He's got to get some sort of control here, really. I mean, that's like. Well, do you want to stop him? He's got to do his job. I don't even think the ref's doing a can yet, is he? I mean, he's. he's. And people say we bend the rules. Oh. There we go. Five minutes gone. I don't know what happened there, but. Uh, Oh, nice basement drive. Nice, kick. nice, that is there. But I don't know what happened there. Gangrel must have slipped getting in the ring, but you know, Drew's now back on top, so uh, definitely didn't kick the middle rope. Beautiful leg drop. Nice guillotine leg drop. Beautiful. That's it, Drew. As you alluded to, if Drew can pick up this win, that is something you he could brag about for the rest of his life. That is, that is. And also, you know, you, you beat a legend like Gangrel, surely uh, Drew's got to go for it. Beautiful. Surely Drew has to uh, be in line for uh, a world title shot, in my opinion. Oh, I think you've made him slightly angry. How? Hey, oh, hang on a minute. What's going on here? He's saying... Nice reversal by... There you go, see? That's it, it's over. Two counts. Come on, Drew. Put this, man, put this old man away. Come on. Lovely. Drew Marshall has been issued his first public warning for, for use of the ropes. Biased reffing that. That is biased reffing right there. Using the ropes. It's not, it's not his fault gang rolls on the ropes, is it? Oh, huge bulldog. Come on, Drew. Get up. Come on. Like you say, you know, it's only just a Glasgow kiss away from a win here. There we go. Beautiful running knee. Another cent on. That's it, it's over. Come on, Drew. Come on, Drew. You've got this, Drew. That's it. Ask him, ref. Ask him. Come on! Where's the public warning for biting? Biased again. That's a verbal warning. 
Should be a public warning there. I'm not allowed to buy it. It was in the rules at the start of the match. Huge power slam. That's it, Drew. That was a beautiful part of power slam there. I will admit that was quite. Uh, Oh. Nice Russian leg sweep into a pin. Beautifully done. Oh, great kicker. Yeah. Great kicker. Come on, Drew. Goes that impaler. Uh, super beautiful kick. Beautiful super kick. Cutter, there we go, that's over. Oh, Ooh, that yeah. was close. That was close there. That was, uh, I agree with Drew, Marsh, Drew there, that, that was free. That was free. That should have been free. Oh, headbutt there. Headbutt. Setting up, he must be sure thinking of setting up that Glasgow kiss. Great burn, there you go, nice reversal there by Drew. Oh, trying oh. to go for a moonsault. Ten minutes gone. Gangrel did ten have that skate there. Duck clothesline. Oh, is he? Is he going for it? That's the there impaler. It is. Kick out, Drew, kick out, Drew, kick. No, that's it, it's over. Ladies and gentlemen, after ten minutes and twenty. Well, I, will admit, I was impressed there by Gangrel. The child inside me was, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Even though Marlis didn't walk away with a victory there, it was, uh, yeah. Let's have another look at this finish here. I mean, it's vintage Gangrel. We've seen it hundreds of times. The Impaler. Spinning Impaler. There you have it. One, One two, two to the count to 100. Your winner oh. of this matchup is Gabriel! But as we alluded to earlier, it's amazing to think that we watched him as a child. Yes. And what, nearly 20, 20, Academy, oh, former yeah. British, almost world, but Kobe, not Kobe Nitro, the number of times that we in the past, we, we've said, you know, there are so many talents that have come in and had just such a, a meteoric quick rise to, to that kind of a high level, but nobody has just rocketed as quickly as this man. He came from, as you say, never having wrestled in his life and real and, 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 and so on. And just a shade over two years later, this is where he is. It's it almost beggars belief. I mean, absolutely. Um, and the crowd firmly behind him. You know, like you said, he's had this development that we see in many people over years. But they've got to see it from the inception to the man that is standing in ring today in under two. It's in, um, yeah. That said, you know, we chat big game about Kobe Nitro. Sullivan King is not anything to be scoffed at no, either. No, not at all. We're not going to take away from the fact that Sullivan King, in his home promotion of School of Slam, former champion and tag team champion as well. I've seen some fantastic matches here. You know, I yep. believe he had a little um, feud with PJ Knight for he a while. Did, yeah. with some we got, we had the opportunity as well to talk to him. Uh, he joined us on comms for one of our shows when uh, School of Slam was here in the past. And, you know, yeah, a, a great talent, very strong man. I think a, a good, solid challenge for Kobe Nitro on this Road to Fight Bear show. You know, and... <laughs> Sorry, um, Sullivan King. Obviously, you know, normally used to being the bigger man in a match, 
And normally when we see this with people against Kobe Nitro, uh, they tend to get a little unnerved about this, but Sullivan King doesn't seem to be, you know, sweating this at all. He seems remarkably yeah, unbothered, keeping, which yeah. is a really impressive... He's keeping his cool. I think uh, oh. right now there might be a certain part of a nap being waved Tempest between the two of them. here. A strong headlock there from Sullivan King. Kobe Nitro trying to get back to back suplex for the reversal, but Sullivan King keeps a grip. Kobe Nitro bringing him back to the ropes. Oh, a massive check there. Sullivan King goes over. Oh. Kobe Nitro, the turn of speed, flattens him again. Kobe Nitro. And incredibly fast. <laughs> young man. He's doing some push ups to show off. Kobe right now just looks like he's having the time of his life in the ring. Huge smile on his face. Solomon King just going for a little wonder. He'll get in as and when he pleases. Enough to break the count, but not enough to uh, have any real uh, positive for Kobe Nitro. Just doing some squats in there now. Getting that, getting that cardio up. He's got more energy in him right now than I have in an entire day. I mean, yeah, it's, it's unhuman. It's unfair as well. Yeah, I want some. Give, give me some motivation. <laughs> But in all seriousness, Sullivan King, no. Oh, no, I really thought that was going to be the one there. Can't lie. But Sullivan's having a great time with this, though, you know. Milking it for all it's worth. Oh, he can do cardio as well. You're not the only one that can do a... <laughs> Kobe Nitro got a hold of him, gets hung up on the top rope. <laughs> Sullivan made an opportunity for himself, and he is seizing it. Nasty there. And then driving the point of that elbow into the knee. Remember as well, you do not want to be going into a ladder match with an injury. If Kobe Nitro is in any sort of, you know, concerning pain, it's a smart decision to, you know, tap out, ask your referee stop yeah, it, so maybe you give. So, maybe, uh, <laughs> Maybe so, but I don't think that's the thing you're going to get from Kobe. He's not going to give up. No, it's not, it's not the rational brain that's on when you're in the ring, is yeah. it? But he is favouring that leg. Something rotten. He is suffering right now. And, you know, I uh, hate to say it, but maybe a smart trade-off there from Sullivan King. One public warning for an incredibly wounded opponent. Yeah. I'd take that any day. Five it's not the righteous way to go about it, it but... Certainly, it certainly is a bit. You, you've got to bear in mind as well sometimes, though, like a wounded animal is the most dangerous. I mean, thus far, the tides have turned in Sullivan King's favour in a surprise to no one. But you are right, you know. As well, again, I'm so sorry we keep on mentioning it, but... Every match needing to fight men means a lot. So if there's ever been a drive for Kobe to win a match, it's going to be on tonight. Yeah, we we can say the word so, so very many times, but motivation, drive, it's a huge factor. And a loss here can do an immense amount of damage to your, your, your willpower and that motivation and drive going into such a big event. I mean, absolutely, you know, what we see tonight will no doubt have massive effects on what happens at fight men not just in this match but in the entire card top to bottom yeah people will be watching what's going on other members of the sky's the limit match are going to be looking at this and you know if sullivan king does damage to that knee are they then going to go and oh! it? Ooh, massive clothesline there but 
Sullivan takes the knee out again, but as I say, look, by, by wearing that knee down, by injuring that knee, Kobe goes into the Sky's the Limit match with, with any sort of niggling knee issue. Not only is it going to make it harder for him to climb that ladder, it's going to give a target for everybody else in the match to focus on to wear him down. However, we have just got to give a quick shout out to Sullivan King there for the amazing Smart. ring awareness to go Smart. straight back to that knee. Again, working those ribs. Ribs are <laughs> looking for that suplex. Maybe not a stable base with that knee. But oh, it. able to do it. Kobe in a lot of pain himself, yeah, there's, though. There's no capitalizing going to happen there. I mean, the best Kobe can hope for at this point is a little bit of space to try and get some energy back, which is not what anyone wants in a match like this, you know, but it's, it's what you've got to do in order to maybe have a chance of winning. But Kobe laying those strikes into King. Looking to run in for something not entirely there doing a good job everything considered but oh, massive back elbow there from Sullivan King Kobe almost stopped oh! spiked on his head that that for sure could be it Sullivan King not going for the pinfall however no he points to the corner it looked like he wants to make an emphatic statement here do you know what they say about pride, Joey? That it oft comes before the fall. <laughs> yes. I think next April Fool's we should do an entire commentary of just old English speak. Verily. <laughs> I'll tell you what, no, if done. Back again. Oh, done, yeah. Back in what we're Hang doing. Hang on, here say. we go. Oh Kobe. That's a long way for Sullivan to go. I'm sure a place Sullivan is not up too often there. Looking for that exploder. Oh my it. goodness. Fantastic elevation on the exploder. Yeah, it's upside down in the air for a... And in second there. Very, very impressive from Kobe Nitro. You have got to wonder what that's doing to his knee, though. Frustration. fired up. I mean, he's got it because the adrenaline only gets you so far here. No, the knee, the knee. The knee, shots off the back. Sullivan King's done a very good job of wearing down Kobe Nitro. Up on the shoulders. Oh! Drops him on his face. I mean, this could be Lips it. The leg. He's got it. Very, very impressive there from Kobe, Kobe Nitro. Nitro. Going to fight there with a win over Sullivan King, but at what cost? I mean, really did snatch victory from the jaws of defeat there. But, yeah, it's a very impressive job from Sullivan King. It is rare we see Kobe in such he, um, dangerous was, yeah, form. Yeah, you know. taken to, to a limit. We see now, with the replay, that got Kobe Nitro that victory. Like you said, you know, this win, a massive deal, but, you know, this this could be bad going into fight, man. Yeah, two weeks is not a lot of time to rehab no, an injury no. like that. Definitely got to make the most of the time given. Rest up that leg, Kobe Nitro, because you've got a ladder match. Sky's the limit in two weeks' time. Introducing first on my right hand side, representing Lady Bella Vandervelt. He is her legal advisor and a WAW Tag Team Champion, Sir Ryan Matthews. And his tag team partner, he is the self proclaimed man of the people. Sharon! And introducing to you on my left hand side, he is the WAW Grand Slam Champion, the Dark Knight, PJ Knight! And his tag team partner.
again, the crowd just... Rabid! That's the only way you can put it, yeah. <laughs> We've got 300, over 300 in the tent. Oh, really? See. Oh, my goodness. Again, this, is, it, this isn't sad. Bittersweet. No, yeah, that's, that's the one, bittersweet. Um, I mean, it will be sad for uh, Sir Ryan and... Uh, Sharon, so I cannot imagine anything but a world of no. punishment coming to them. I mean, if this is going to be your last match for you, see if you, you know, to do, to do the thing that you love one more time and go out fighting. And here we go! Commence wrestling! And I don't think we're going to see much wrestling. This is just an absolute... Oh, oh no! Out of the gate, a little tag team miscommunication there. Super kick to Nemesis. Obviously accidental there by PJ, but uh, unfortunate. PJ able to fight out of the corner here. Doing some damage to both men. I mean, look at this. If you're going to go, go out fighting Nemesis right on the top. PJ rolling through the leg. There we go! Oh! Cross body! Massive height! Massive distance! Massive close lines! And out goes go, Sharon! Bye bye! And out goes Sir Ryan! <laughs> this crowd, you guys! This crowd, insane! Oh no! I'm actually getting ahead of him. No, you've got to let PJ <laughs> go. Oh, what a... Pope over the top. My goodness. The crowd. I mean, at this point, just let them commentate. I need to put my headset down, you can hear what they're saying, because... Oh, my God, no! <laughs> Massive 360 death. cannonball! I mean, we kind of hope that his surgeon's not watching this. I mean, he's getting it fixed anyway. <laughs> he's he's he exactly that. Oh my goodness! Oh no, Mink in the mind. Collision there. Well scouted from Sir Ryan and Sharon, I will admit. Sharon has went to the wrong tackle. <laughs> Now the two-on-one mugging. Look at these men, though. So considering how early we are into the match, have taken a lot of offense. PJ ready to get in and try and stop the uh, the classic the classic staff behaviour of uh, hit them on the referee's back turns. Oh, knee, knee right to the face. So I mean, looking for a lovely, beautiful super. snap suplex. Nice float over, only two counts. Obviously, uh, Sir Ryan's tag partner losing earlier tonight. Um, and the boss is here tonight, so she will be watching. The pressure is certainly up, but the crowd are... Oh, oh God! The crowd are uh, certainly not on uh, their, their side tonight. Oh! Nice power slam! One, two... Only a two there. PJ waiting for him to get that tag in, but there's just been no... Not even close to them. Massive double line there. Both men crawling to their corners. Tags made. 
in comes Orion, in comes the beach, hey. Oh, there goes Sharon. For good measure. No! Oh, what elevation! Fantastic back suplex there. Nice. Just... Oh, that's just showing oh. off. Ow! Oh. Oh. That's just showing off. Nice float over again. Up on the shoulders. Oh, TKO! That could be it. One, two. Steve, uh, oh, sorry, Sharp still on the outside. Uh, I was hoping for that rather brutal super kick. PJ may have gone to be looking for that car driver. No, now for I mean, two on one. Back to basics for uh, one half of the star. Five minutes score. PJ trying to reach and nowhere close to his home corner there. is ready and waiting. He does her run very smartly, keeping TJ well on his side of the ring there. More of those shoulder bunches in the corner. Straight into the lucky old trade holder. It's almost like clockwork, isn't it? I mean, but this is the thing, it's won the staff their tag team championship. Well, three, three tag title runs. Yeah. Absolutely, and you know, it, it's hard when you're on the other side to not sort of try and get involved. Big knees up there from PJ. Reaching for the tag, fingertips away. But no luck. Sharon's up to the top there. A lot of movement he can get there without making it look much worse. Nemesis is still reaching for that tag. Lovely jawbreaker there. Oh, look at Sir Ryan stalking. No oh. one home. Oh, maybe regretting a little bit of what he's done there as Nemesis begins to square off at him. More of those shoulder barges in the corner there. I've got to give it to them, you know, considering that they, to the best of my knowledge, have not tagged before. Sharrox and Sir Ryan are lovely, lovely leg, leg drop. One, two. very well. Two. Frustration there from Sir Ryan Matthews. Oh, oh. oh sit down then. Um, Abdominal stretch. Abdominal stretch. Just grinding the knuckles into the ribs there. That is a killer. PJ in a lot of pain. You know, tapping would be the easy option now, but there is too much heart in PJ Knight to do that. And with the crowd this louder behind him. Charnel. Toss. He did it, he's got to make the tag. PJ in a lot of pain there though. So great Ryan. ring awareness on the part of Sir Ryan. You can't knock him for that. Yeah. Yeah. We're all talking about technicalities and legalities. Um, they, he lost his well tag oh. title for a 10 year old. Quite, quite funny. Okay, and that, there's no allegedly about that. No, it's, it's in the no record book. About that. But that said, you know, their opponents, as mentioned earlier, PJ Knight, Grand Slam champion, Nemesis, I believe, 
two-time question mark uh, people's champion. Two-time people's champion, current... IPWC. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, both men. Oh, massive uppercut. I'll come back to that in a minute. <laughs> oh, another running uppercut. This looks like I think we know it's coming. Oh, an arrow. One, two, three. No. As I was saying, um, Nemesis and PJ both never mind. Sharon's with the angle. Oh, God, with an Integuri. Reaching for that tag. Sharon's back in again. Just wants more punishment. Oh no! Oh my god, another Inzaguri! <laughs> yep, so Ryan there. Three Inzaguri! Ten minutes gone. Ten minutes! Um, PJ is out on his feet here, struggling so much. Tag me! Here comes Nemesis! That's a mule kick there. He's just hitting the anything that moves! Oh! <laughs> Running Euro! Oh, oh no! Oh! Oh, neck breaker, but to run in the to give his Sharks a DDT! Fantastic oh, no. ring awareness there from Nemesis. <laughs> Massive shots to the middle there. Nemesis bringing Sir Oh, Ryan is that what his name time. is? Nemesis? Oh, I wouldn't have known. No, 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 no. It's hard to tell, you know, yeah. the crowd is so silent. Oh. Looking for that kamikaze. A role. double kamikaze. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Clear off the kamikaze eye. Oh, 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 oh. my goodness. One, two. So right, using everything left in the tag there to break up that pinfall. So right, obviously getting more of that, but not the legal man. Massive shot there. Oh, out oh. goes Herrick. And out goes Sir Ryan. What I've been trying to say for the last five minutes. PJ and Nemesis, both major part, well, the two major trainers in our um, young performers, both so quintessential to the uh, people coming up the ranks in WW. You know, we cannot understate the influence that I heard. And not just, and not just the wrestlers, like they help out the re uh, upcoming reps. Oh God! Oh. <laughs> that is Nemesis's son there. He had just hit Sharx. Angel getting in the way, not allowing Sharks to hit a child. Oh, oh Nemesis, that's the one. He's unceremoniously dumped. Nemesis very proud of his son there. Wait, you have to keep it in the family. <laughs> oh, is it? And, well, if, the, if, the dad's, if the dad's allowed to beat people up, I think the son's allowed oh, to yeah, have a free sure. hit. So one free hit. Honestly, with the way they've been behaving, he's allowed as many as he wants. Oh! oh. Woo! God! <laughs> like father, like son. All four men back in ring. Massive <laughs> strike. Just slugging. Ground and pound. Oh, oh. Both got out of it. And again. Spine buster. Beautifully tandem here. Shot shooter. Double shot shooter. Both men in a lot of pain here. Look at PJ, he's telling Nemesis no, and likewise, Nemesis is screaming at PJ to say no. It's all on Nemesis here, PJ not being the legal man. 
Look at him! Look at that! No! He takes no like he was it. about to tap, but no, look at him! Oh, slapping some sense into his tag partner. He's there. demanding him not to tap. And I'm sure Nemesis will thank him for it after, but right now. <laughs> kick off from both men. Oh, oh double boots. Oh. And a chop for good measure. PJ not happy with uh, Sarai, and I cannot blame <laughs> Up on the top there. So, oh, so Ryan and Sharrock's position precariously on the top here. High risk, high reward for PJ and Nemesis. I don't know what they're trying to go for here. Neither do I. Oh my goodness. Oh, no. oh my goodness. Oh no. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> An ultra, what, an ultra mega super duper ultra you cannot get high definition kamikaze roll you cannot have a more impactful kamikaze roll than that a fantastic job by nemesis and pj but somehow somehow not enough oh it looks like a car at nem nemesis at that day Said we did mention that Nemesis is going towards surgery after this. It's starting to play up a little bit, I think. He's up on his feet, so, I mean, barely. You've got him. PJ's just had the knock. Yeah. Nemesis trying to get back up onto you. Remember that figure four? You know, Nemesis is going to be an out and Sir Ryan opportunistic as ever. You can't, it's horrible. You can't, oh, no, 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 come on. Do you know what? No, I can't. I know. Yeah, you're right, though. I, I, I genuinely, and there's a lot of things that I let slide. The man's going into surgery, Matthew. Oh, no. Oh. He's got the free for you. <laughs> Being given a swift right hand from PJ there. Oh, rolling two, one, two, and a reverse. One, two. Oh, oh no! He's hit. No. Oh no, 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 not this way. Not this way. No, he's kicked out. Oh my goodness. Oh god. Nemesis is busted open. Oh, and the, no, he's busted open. Oh. I mean, a briefcase of the forehead will do that to you. I mean, I think in the grand, the grand scheme of things, the referee really needs to think about he's calling having a this look. match. He's checking it. It is fully... Oh my, oh my God, look at that gap. Are we past the watershed? I'm still not going to say. Um, oh, jeez, oh. shit. Yes, sort of. That's... Yeah, we're past the watershed. No, we're past everyone. the watershed. Oh. Still can't say the word I want to say. Oh my goodness. Nemesis and that Sir is... Ryan just going out. Sir Ryan charged with the injured leg. We see PJ and Sharrock there on the outside. Oh, no blow for the things from Sharrock. No. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, God. On the table. No. Oh, Holy. I apologise for peeking the microphone there. Oh, no. Nemesis in a puddle of his own blood. Oh, not the sharp tree to again. Nemesis just no. on the table. Oh. Look at it. It's like, oh my God, it's like Mania uh, Austin Brett. Oh Mania 13. Well, Ben do what Austin. Nemesis it's is trying it. his best. It's Austin. He's, chan he's channeling the rattlesnake. Oh my goodness! What? Oh, bad words! Nemesis, Nemesis, 
Nemesis 316. Crawling to that bottom rope. He's got to get to that rope. But there's Sharuk. Sharuk's at no good. Oh! oh. He takes with the shot to the back of the head. Good on him. With the assist. He did not pass out. He's reached the bottom rope. Come on. That God. in itself is a feat. Here's the so look at this. A rock bottom from Sharon, but look where Peter landed on the through a table. Oh, through the top of the See in the background. It's Beyonce incredibly nervous. Briefcase in the middle of the ring. Sharon with the ring. Oh bell. no, no. Oh, oh, spiked. No, please, not like this. The gamble to the briefcase. Oh, oh PJ taking Coming in, saving it. Matt, this is chaos. Uh, this is mental. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. pile driver. Oh. One, a very bad two. Oh. Charik's going for a spear on Nemesis, the breaking Titans. up that pin. You've got to... That would have been it. What a spike, my goodness. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! One, two, no! Oh. With less than a point, point of a second there, PJ able to break up the pinfall. I think PJ's just realised what's happened in this blood on him as well. Trying to go for that rock bottom again. PJ now very familiar with that. Super kill! Right on the chin there. Is he going for the spike pile driver? Actually giving it no. a second. This is not PJ's final match here. It is Nemesis's. <laughs> the crowd is going absolutely insane. See there? I think what... Nemesis is best friend, Zach Zodiac, saying it's time. Oh, no. He's taking a lot of damage. Zach Zodiac encouraging Nemesis. Up on the He's shoulders. Got it up. Oh, oh cool ball. Running off, we know what's next. Oh. What a spear. One, One two, three. <laughs> In comes Hayden, Nemesis's son, checking on his rather bloody dad. And Nemesis's partner there, Angel, <laughs> the nurse checking his head. I mean, what a, what a way to go out. Nemesis, as we said earlier, just a key part of this company. The crowd know it, we know it. You can see in the adoration they have for him. I mean, what a final match. What a man. You know, I, I've lost the words. There's no words needed. This tells the whole story. That everyone on their feet. Going for the finish there. Let's hear it for your winners, PJ Knight and Nemesis. What a way to go. One, two, three. A fantastic way to mark the end of this chapter in Nemesis's career.